So welcome, welcome to the 75th birthday two piano recital. And as you probably figured out that when you do two pianos, you need duet partners. And I have these amazing duet partners. This is Marianne Schneider. And this is Jan Armstrong. And this is Sarah McDaniel. And Sarah is one of my teachers. So you may now go to your stations. <laughs> so I'm thrilled to be here. I grew up with music. My mother was a piano teacher and a voice teacher. So our lives were spent around the Steinway Concert Grand Piano that we had in our living room. But I hadn't had a lesson in 50 years, so I went back to piano three years ago and found this amazing love of two piano music, even more so than solos and duets. So we have a concert for you. The, you will notice on the program that this is framed with Fritz Kreisler music. Fritz Kreisler was a violinist in the late 1800s and early 1900s, and he had his music transposed, but he did his music in beautiful salons, sometimes called salon music. So imagine yourself, perhaps in Europe, in a beautiful castle or mansion, and you are sitting in a drawing room with about 30 people sipping your champagne, and perhaps having high tea, and you are going to listen to this lovely music. So we're going to start with a first Chrysler piece called Love's Joy, and then Sarah and I will immediately move into the Slavonic dance. Slavonic dance was a piece my sister and I played in high school, and I think we entered a contest with this piece, but we just loved it. So we will do first Love's Joy and then Slavonic dance. But first, before all that, we oh. recognize that this is a very crazy time. So we're going to do a couple musical jokes first. The first musical joke is there's going to be a picture on your screen of what's called 2020 the Musical. And even if you don't read music, you will know that this music is impossible and crazy just like the times we're living in right now. So you can smile over that. And then Sarah and I are going to do the coronavirus etude, which is basically disinfecting the keys. <laughs> Thank you. 
now, Marianne is going to move to piano two, and I will stay on piano one. Um, in two pianos, there's not necessarily a lot of consistency. Many times, piano one does more of the melody, but it depends, and one of the fun things is watching the melody go back and forth. Sometimes, piano one is more difficult, and but not always. But in some of the pieces where it is, I gave it to my duet partners. <laughs> so, so, Marianne and me, and I want to say one thing. Marianne and I started playing duets two or three years ago, right? We've done Christmas, we've done show tunes, we have had such a good time. So it is always fun to play with Marianne, and we are going to do the rainy day rag. <laughs>
now I move over to piano two, and this is Jan Armstrong. I have been really quite nuts about this dance macabre for well over a year, maybe a year and a half. And I asked Sarah if she knew of somebody that could play this with me. It's a, it's a long piece, it's 11 minutes, so you better go get your champagne and your tea <laughs> and your scones and all that because it goes on. It's a highly dramatic piece. So as you listen to it, imagine you are in a town square someplace in um, Europe and way off in the country there is a church and that church is chiming midnight and at midnight the ghosts come out and they come out quietly and they tiptoe and sometimes they waltz and then other times they go really really crazy and then at the very end they come down and they go back in their graves so I am thrilled with Jan. We just started playing together in June, and it has just been wonderful. So, dance and cop.
Sarah's going to move to piano one and I stay with piano two. And the next number is All That Jazz from Chicago, which is great fun. And then we are going to go into the romance, Anton Orensky, similar period of time to Chrysler, kind of late 1800s, early 1900s. And this is the first movement. Uh, there's a joke about this. When I, when I first started to play this, and I really, really wanted to play it, and in my part, the second piano part, there were the four most difficult measures I had ever played. And at that not time- Not to mention my no, no, oh, <laughs> It's not even close to what Sarah's doing up here, or what Jack was doing. But I asked Michael, my partner at that time, who since moved to California, I said, could we switch, like cut and paste, I'll take out these four measures, you take them, and then I'll take yours at that point because they were a little easier. And Michael gave me the correct response, which was no, <laughs> handle it. So this is, first we're gonna do all that jazz, and then we're gonna do this absolutely gorgeous Serensky. There's two more movements, and I'm hoping by my 80th birthday, I can actually do the other two. <laughs>
last number is a solo, and this is called Caprice Viennois. It's a Fritz Kreisler piece. I absolutely adore this piece. It has so many dynamics. It is um, just gorgeous. My mother played it, so it's very special to me. She was a really fine pianist. It's just lovely. Many of you um, might know that yellow yes. roses are for friendship yes. and also for family. And 
So Gary, the bouquet of six goes to Sarah, my wonderful teacher. I all of the instructions. Yeah, all of the instructions. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and then for wonderful Jan and wonderful Mary Ann. Beautiful, thank you, Linda. And I am so thankful for my absolutely fabulous partners. Thank you.